My dear friends, I greet all of you from my heart. The Sunday after Easter is a very important Sunday for many people in this whole world, especially in the Catholic world, my dear friends. Sister Maria Faustina Kowalska has uh, got some revelation in the year 1930, where she was instructed by God that the Sunday after Easter should be celebrated as a Divine Mercy Sunday. Pope John Paul II has made it possible on the day of her canonization on 30th April 2000 that the Sunday after Easter should be celebrated as a Sunday of Divine Mercy. In very many places, in uh, very many parishes in the whole world, people come together and pray to God for the Divine Mercy. You might also see a wonderful picture where uh, a kind of uh, light coming from the heart of Jesus, which will be portrayed as uh, the symbol of Divine Mercy. My dear friends, I would say that uh, Divine Mercy or the concept of Divine Mercy is not just because of Sister Faustina. It has come all through the ages, which we can see, especially from the Old Testament and then afterwards in the New Testament. I would say that, my dear friends, that God is merciful. You know one thing, philosophically speaking, if God has to be only just, if he can just look only for the justice in the world, who can stand in front of him? Because God is great. If God is great, we all human beings do a lot of mistakes. No one in this world is just as God. That means, my dear friends, God cannot live and look at us only from the eyes of justice. On the contrary, God is looking at us with his merciful eyes. Yes, divine mercy is one of the biggest blessings and the gifts which we can receive from God. Especially in the Old Testament, we uh, read from the Psalm 103, verse um, 7 or 8. There we read, For with Yahweh is faithful love, with him generous ransom. In the book of Ezekiel, capital 33, verse uh, 11, we read, As I live, declares the Lord Yahweh, I do not take pleasure on the death of the wicked, but in the conversion of the wicked who changes his ways and saves his life. Wonderful words of God. In the book of Hosea, chapter 6 and verse 6, there we read, Faithful love is what pleases me, not sacrifice. So all through the ages of Old Testament, we see that God was merciful. The people of Israel looked at their God as merciful God who can forgive their sins, who can elevate them and who can give them new path. Yes, my dear friends, in all the ages of Israelites, they see how merciful God is for them. And we come to the New Testament. There we can see also different symbolics where Jesus shows that God is merciful especially in his own undertakings, in his own approach to human beings, he shows how merciful God is. If uh, somebody is coming and uh, asking for some forgiveness or for healing, he was always speaking to them that your sins are forgiven. That means in a great mercy of God, Jesus is showing his own life, especially in the, uh, in the book of Luke, chapter 1, we can see in different 
places that God is merciful. In the verse 78 we read, The faithful love of our God in which the rising sun has come from on high to visit us. In the verse 50, His faithful love extends age after age to those who fear Him. In the chapter 15, we see also different uh, ways where Jesus shows that God is merciful, especially He is a merciful shepherd, where He goes after the sheep which is lost. He doesn't condemn the sheep. He just takes and puts on His shoulders and comes back and saves the life of a shepherd. The same way, you might have heard also the story of a merciful father who, uh, where one of the sons goes away from him and uh, he takes all his property and uh, after a couple of months where he becomes um, poor and he becomes lonely, he comes back to the father. And father doesn't condemn him, my dear friends. He just opens his uh, hands and he just waits for him. So this is a wonderful picture of God which we can see. And Christianity is a religion where we can see this attitude of God very much. As we know that Easter is the biggest and the highest feast of Christians. And especially exactly the Sunday after Easter, we are celebrating the Sunday of Divine Mercy. That means, my dear friends, in the old ages, uh, that means after uh, the Christianity has started, it was a very important Sunday because on Easter Sunday, the people were baptized. And after getting baptized, they were so happy and they were carrying um, the white garments the uh, whole week. And they come the Sunday after Easter to the church and they really yeah, are happy and uh, with that their, their baptism ceremony comes to end. That's why, for example, my dear friends, we speak in, in Germany the Sunday after Easter as White Sunday. Of course, we give communion to the children that way we celebrate. but. White Sunday, that means, which is coming from the tradition of the Catholic Church where the baptized people uh, are in the church. I would wish very much that we just believe this, that God is merciful. God is great. That means He has a big heart for everybody. And He just pours out His love for everybody who comes to Him. Only that we have to turn back to God. That means we have to show our own love to Him. My dear friends, the Sunday of Divine Mercy is a great gift for everybody. I wish all of you and me too that we really enjoy the great love which we get from the heart of Jesus. Jesus as Savior, Jesus as Redeemer, Jesus as the path of our life, He can show us how wonderful God is with His great merciful love. I wish you very much that God's mercy comes to you personally and to your family and to all people whom you love and also whom you don't love. All the best. We will see you again. Bye-bye.